Right, welcome to the King's Road, game number two in the Glyot Orbit between Wave V Cape and Wave PY. Playing in the bottom left section of the map as the green Epsilon HQ, it's Wave PY. In the top right section of the map, playing as the Magenta Russia, it's V Cape, who is currently leading the series 1 0 after about 28 minutes game on the Ravens Pass. So he does come in here with an advantage, and his another advantage of this map is picking Russia, because we all know that the maps like this, Russia can be quite powerful faction. He managed to sneak this Derek right in front from the enemy. He also managed to grab the second one right here, so he's now on three Derricks with the starting income, which is a really good thing. We get power up, we get power plants coming up right now. Okay. War Factory coming up from the Wave PY. And the same thing from the V Cape. We do have a little bit of scouting place coming up. It seems that Wave PY is not actually contesting those Derricks. So V Cape is gonna take a lot of money from those. The factories are now deployed, Ghost Miners and War Miners are now in production. I once again forgot to set up an ally to the Epsom player. My apologies. Additional refinery coming up from the Wave PY. They're actually mirroring the builds, but with different factions, if I have to be honest. Once again, VK come up with a lot of conscripts, so that may force once again Wave PY to pull a def to pull out the minus for defense, however, there is a defensive Gatling cannon. Wepio is actually out of cash already. In the meanwhile, VK managed to actually get another or refinery coming up and running four miners and going stronger. Additional test of reactors. I think he actually failed the base core right here. That's why the dam was here. We got a base core coming up over here as well with additional refinery. Now, currently mining this ore field right here. More and more conscripts on the field. Field bureau up and running. That means the shock troopers are now in full swing production. Additional ore refinery coming up, which means we're gonna probably see it deployed right here. More ghost miners coming up for the wave PY. Additional ore refineries. No infantry production, just making miners. He's really desperate for money, and I'm not surprised he's really not earning that much compared to the V Cape. The shock troopers are now on the field and coming up. There's a conscript army inside WPR's base that is going to act as a distraction. The miners are now currently under attack. WPR is actually going to lose one miner. And quite possibly even this gutting gun. He's gonna back off, however. There's another miner under attack. YPI is actually a really bad spot right now. He did manage to earn himself a little bit of cash, about 6,000 in his bank right now. V Cape, however, is currently mass producing shock troopers and he's on a lot of economical advantage. That's 4, that's 8, that's 9, 10 miners right now. I'm pretty sure that it's actually a double number of YPIs. He is trying to actively push with the Gatling cans, but I don't think that will stop that will stop V Cape from harassing the area. I did not fail to count, I saw that. Figures are now in production just to support the army. The bucket got deployed right here but got immediately destroyed. The shock troopers make short work of the power plant located right here. But I think he may actually lose most of the army. 
Pandora have deployed for wave PY. I don't think he's gonna do that much with that with it. Shadow tanks will not be that much of an advantage on this map. They engage on the front line of the wave PY as this continues. It will force Vicky to back up, but I don't think he lose that much during this engagement. If anything, he continuously forces WPY to spend more money on the defense. We get the radar up and running, and the palace is on the way, so the tier 3 should be really soon. Genie Plug is coming up for WPY. He wants that tier 3, he needs that Irkala and Ran. We got Epsilon Adept deployed on the field. And I think he will actually try to house the minus. No, he's gonna back off a little bit. A good choice. He still has all those derricks, although we have slight connection problems. I'm not sure what is happening. The pass is now deployed. There's one thing I'd really like to see. Oh, there we go. We have an attack coming up. One miner goes down. He will actually try to destroy the war factory. That is a really good pickup. Because that will even further delay the Urkala. More shock troopers coming up. I'd really like to see a Kirov coming up right now. That would make Wave PY absolutely suffer. We had a bunker deployed right here. The gym plug is right now on Ponder Hub, which means the Wave PY actually has full tier 3 access. I expect to see Volkov and uh, Chitskoy coming up anytime soon. We got a Dracov. That necessary healing for Shock Troopers is right now deployed. There's additional barracks on the front of the base, alongside the Inferno Tower. He really tries to defend the singular ore field that he has under his control. He's skipping factory, he's going towards the rating doctor. An interesting choice. Volkov is now being deployed as we speak. Tesla cruisers are now in production. And Nuke Silo. That's definitely something that we keep wants. Right now he can just balance around all of the area. We got a tail drop deploy. Teodron drop deployed over here. It's, it's gonna infect one of the miners. This is a really good pickup. Harassing the economy whenever he can. It seems that WFI finally recaptured one of the derricks. He's also sending additional engine over here. I'm not sure for what reason. Cloning bats coming up. Still not rebuilding the factory. Volkov and Chitsko are now out on the field. The miner went down from the Terrodron. The barrier is being used. He actually managed to bait that out. And this bunker is actually doing a really good job. He was sniping left those Epsilon Adepts left, right and center. I don't think he'll be able to actually pick up the Pandora's Hub, however. Both of the plays actually floating money, 11k, 10k. But VK has unit number advantage and Tactical's Nuke Silo is now deployed. In such a bouncy spot, I'll have to be honest. In addition to that, scouts are now being built. So long range combat. Is gonna add additional problems for Wave PY. Who is continuously making more and more barracks. Dude, get your factory, please. 
Round just went down. I do think that Wapia is in a really bad spot. He managed to did he managed to snipe the cloning bats. So that even more advantage to him. The scouts got captured in the process, however. The adepts, however, doing really good work. Additional scouts and Tesla crews are not being deployed. The nuke silo is being targeted. Will he be able to actually stop it? He did manage to recapture those units. It's a really bad engagement for VK, if I have to be honest. Also, we got the magical scout coming up right now. Ryan has reappeared. More barks are in production. Another bossy super weapon placement. That's an interesting choice. Barks redeployed on the field. Volkov is coming up as well. He is going for the push. It may be really problematic. It seems that Volkov has just died as he appeared. VK could definitely use a couple of terror drones. He's gonna lose the nuclear silo, I think. Although he does not have that many attacking units. Dogs are out on the field, eliminating all of the Epsilon Adepts. The Nuxala goes down, but the Miners are now pulled to the attack. Miners are now returning back to their posts. And once again, Vicky has the unit advantage, but... The mass Epsilon Adepts are actually seems to work here. Factory has been rebuilt, ghost miners are now in production. Rage Inductor is ready. A really good pickup. Those tail drones are doing a fantastic job. Run is down! It's a good moment for Vicky to attack. But he decides to not do that. No, there we go. He finally decides to push in. Ran is being rebuilt. Let's see if he managed to actually eliminate the barracks that are that are in the front line. More refiners in production. Still, this ore field is untouched. Wepi is being forced to actually mine from this field back at the base. Ryan has reappeared on the field. More shock troopers coming up, Tesla cruisers. Nuke silo is being rebuilt. This one scud is trying to eliminate all the power and he actually manages to sh shut down the power. A really good pickup. We get the power drop at the back of the base. I think he may try to eliminate the go the factory. Ran once again goes down to the Teodrons. A really good pickup. A lot of dogs coming up inside the base. He, I think, this may be the very end of YPY in this tournament. The Chisco is doing fantastic work, and YPY has no units at all. Vicky, what are you waiting for? The miners are not being caught. Nuke Silo is back on the field. Iron Curtain is ready. This is the perfect moment for strike. It seems Wepi is complaining in the chat. Pick HQ is wrong. GG. There we go. VK is actually advancing to the next round of the tournament. Is he he is going to face against Jack Derp. That was quite an interesting game, although I really think that 
with PY not rebuilding his factory really hampered him. Every minor loss was permanent at that point. And although the Adepts did a really good job at the defending and even atta attacking to some point, he was unable to defend against Docks and Teodrons. 